Thank you so much, guys, for watching the Gaming Gladiators Team Spotlight yesterday. If you haven't watched it, please go check it out and learn more about an APAC South team making the Spring Major. Today, we are taking a look at a new EU team. But before I do that, I want to kind of give a little disclaimer about like what I consider teams to be eligible for this. So teams that have not made an international major before, so teams like Falcons, Envy, and now Power, are out in my head because those rosters within the standings, so old Sandrock, old Envy with Atomic Mist and Turbo, and then Ground Zero Gaming, which, you know, it's now power. Don't qualify technically in this. They missed out on winter, and now they're here in the spring. So today we're talking about Carmine Corp, a team that everyone was super Bruh. high on heading into the season, and they just have not met expectations yet. In the winter, they were playing with Stake, so Stake, Astro, and Itachi, and in Winter Regional 1, they take a 7th, 8th, losing to Dignitas 3-0, and just not an ideal situation there. In Winter 2, they take a 9th through 12th, losing to the Griefers okay. of all Griefs Guild. And then Winter Regional 3, they take another 7th, 8th, losing to Team Queso right after they beat BDS, by the way. So it's just tough for them, not ideal. Leaving them at 7th at 430 points in the Winter Ranking. They make a change, they bring in Nolly from Guild, and they release Stake, and in Spring Regional 1, they take a 5th, 6th, their highest placement since fall, way back when, when they took a 3rd, 4th home. They do lose to Solary, a peaking Solary, I might add, in this event. And you're kind of thinking, like, where's Carmine at? They take a 5th, 6th, are they legit now, with Nolly on the team? And in Regional 2, they take home a 3rd place, beating Moist Esports. They do eventually lose to Team Liquid in Game 7, but... A third place surely solidifies them as a spring major contender at this point. And you get to spring regional three and they take home a seventh, eighth. They do lose to evil geniuses, but they did manage to qualify. And they are the fourth seed in Europe heading into the spring major. With these better spring results, it's no surprise here that Nolly has been an X factor for this team. So let's take a look at the stats. We're gonna start with Astral first. His rating is up almost 0.1 points. So he was averaging below a 1.0 rating in the winter which is just not ideal for Astro now he's up to a 1.017 in the spring he's averaging more goals per game he's averaging a little bit less assists but that doesn't really matter a whole bunch because it's marginal same thing with saves he's having more shots so the team is on offense more he's shooting a bit better and his goal participation is higher overall the Carmine Corp offense is just clicking a little bit better now that Astral and Itachi have their third in Nolly so Astral really great player hopefully he can return to some Season 8, Season 9 form at the Spring Major because he's been playing really well so far in the Spring Split. Next up, we have Itachi, a player I find very underrated. I'm not sure how he's going to play on land because it is his first event. However, I do think this is one of the more well-rounded players in all of European Rocket League. Very solid on all three fronts of the pitch where it's you're the striker, you're the midfielder, or you're the defender. And he's very does very well in rotations. This So far, this split rating is above a 1.0, which I consider to be above average at this point. 0.75 goals, half an assist, 1.5 saves. Definitely upped his defensive metric by quite a bunch here compared to the winter split. And I just think that goes to show that he's playing a lot better rotationally with Nolly. So Itachi, I'm looking forward to seeing you play as the first from Morocco to ever play in an RLCS land. And finally, we have Nolly, guy that replaced Stake. He played on Guild the previous split. Take a look at the stats. Nolly just has that pop-off potential that Stake could not have. Stake was the least performing player on Carmine Corp in the winter split. 0.884, just not salt. Not, just not what you want. He's putting up some goals. He's putting up a couple, but it's just not, it wasn't working for them. And then you bring in Nolly. He has a pop-off event in regional two to take them to that third place finish. A 1.073 rating, absolutely solid for him. He plays well in all parts of the field. So Nolly has been the X factor. He's ratioing everybody on Twitter that's saying that Carmine's not doing anything. But overall, Nolly, he played well in Guild, but I think he's playing better now with Casey. And I think as a third, he's fitting in really well with this team. I do have some middling results for them my, as my expectations at the Spring Major. I do have them going out 9th, 12th. They lose to Fury in the first round of my prediction, and then they beat Game and Gladiators in the lowers, and then they eventually will lose to FaZe Clan is where I have them at because I have Falcons beating FaZe. But... It's just a tough road because if you're playing, yeah. if you're Casey, you have to play Furia, and if you beat them, you get G2, and then if you lose to G2, you go to the lowers, and then I'm pretty sure you have to play Team Liquid or Falcons, one of those three. So it's just not ideal for Carmine. I do think this team has very high ceiling. I could see them taking home like a fifth, sixth, maybe even a fourth place if all three players are peaking, but my expectations of them are a ninth, twelfth. 
If they do manage to make 9th, 12th, they will be tied with Semper at 1,770 points. Right now they're sitting at 1,670. So if they do not win a single series, they will not be in line. They will, they will have a lot of work cut out for them as EU as a region to make the world's wild card. But I do see them in winning one series and helping themselves out for that world stage. But if you're Carmine Corp, look to win one series, hopefully win two so you can overtake Semper for that spot. But this has been a Carmine Corp team spotlight. Hope you guys enjoy the video, learn a little bit more about these players and what's been going on with them and how the rest of their season has gone up until this point. But if you guys enjoy the video, please like it and I'll see you guys later for the last team spotlight. Peace.